September 8th. 70. Jerusalem taken by Titus after a most obstinate resistance on the part of the inhabitants. More than one million are said to have perished. 1636. Harvard College founded at Cambridge, Massachusetts. 1644. Francis Quarles, a celebrated English poet, died. 1650. The Princess Elizabeth, daughter of the unfortunate Charles, died at Carisbrook Castle in the Isle of Wight, aged 15. 1656. Joseph Hall, the first professed English satirist, died. He was Bishop of Norwich, and acquired the title of the Christian Seneca. He is universally allowed to have been a man of great wit and learning. 1664. The colony of New York surrendered to the English. 1705. According to Defoe, it was on this day that the apparition of Mrs. Veal appeared to Mrs. Bargrave, at Canterbury, to say that Drelling Gert on Death was the very best book on that subject. 1755. Battle of Lake George, between the English under Colonel Johnson and the French and Indians under Baron Dyes Cow. Of the provincials greatly superior, attachment of 1,000 men and 200 Indians which were sent out from the fort were ambuscaded and narrowly escaped destruction. A grand attack was then made on the fort by the French regulars, the Canadians and Indians being employed on the English flanks. After a battle of four hours, the enemy was compelled to retreat in disorder, and were pursued by a party from the camp, which fell on their rear and precipitated their flight. Dye's cow was taken prisoner, and the remnant of his army completely rooted by attachment of 200 New Hampshire militia, from Fort Edward, who had been sent to the assistance of the main army. The loss of the provincials was 327 killed and wounded, that of the enemy about 600. King Hendrick killed here. 1756. The Indian village of Catanning, in Pennsylvania, destroyed by the colonists under Colonel Armstrong. The Indians had fortified their village and provided a supply of powder for ten years and great quantities of arms and merchandise. The place was surprised, the chief, Colonel Jacobs, killed, and as the Indians refused, to accept quarter, they were exterminated. This affair was of so great importance that the authorities caused a silver medal to be struck on the occasion. 1757 the Duke of Cumberland in behalf of England signed the Convention of Gloucester 7, by which the electorate of Hanover was left in the hands of the French, and the whole army consisting of 40,000 Hessians, Brunswickers, etc., disarmed. 1760. Canada surrendered to the British at Montreal under Lord Amherst. This was hailed with universal joy by the colonies, as the end of the cruel wars and bloody massacres which had hung over their towns and plantations nearly a century, in which the French and Indians had been uniformly the aggressors, and had vied with each other in murder, barbarity and rapine. Under the brief repose which followed the colonies rapidly increased in number and wealth, till the gigantic struggle for independence again plunged the country in scenes of desolation and ruin, in which the British armies in a degree emulated the French and Indian foe. 1761. Bernard Forrest de Bellider, a Spanish mathematician, died at Paris. He wrote on fortifications and engineering, several valuable works. 1772. The first Court of General Quarter Sessions of the Peace for the County of Tryon was held at Johnstown, so called after Sir W. M. Johnson. Guy Johnson, Judge. 1775. John Lytham, afterwards a poet and famed Oriental scholar, was born at Denholm, Rokesburgshire. 1781. 
Battle of Utah Springs. The British regulars, 2000 in number, under Colonel Stewart, were defeated by the Americans under General Green, 1,400 regulars, and 500 militia. British loss in killed, wounded and prisoners about 1,000. American loss about 500. This battle closed the war in South Carolina. 1782. Tremendous cannonade and bombardment from Gibraltar with red hot balls and carcasses, upon the Spanish besiegers. Two floating batteries were consumed. 1793. The British under the Duke of York raised the siege of Dunkirk, in France, defended with great bravery and resolution by Ho Chi. 1794. Battle of Brescia. The Poles defeated by the Russians under Suoro, with the loss of 8,000 men, and their whole park of artillery. 1795. A monument by Flaxman to the memory of Collins, the poet, was set up at Chichester, England. 1797. Richard Farmer died. A celebrated scholar and critic. He is noted for a single work, his essay on the learning of Shakespeare, in which he maintains that the bard obtained his knowledge of ancient history and mythology from translations and not from original classic authors. It is probably the best commentary which has been produced. 1798 The first number of the Old Gemiain Tung General Gazette published at Augsburg, in Bavaria, under the charge of Baron Cotta, it is probably the most celebrated newspaper in the world. It has correspondence in all countries of Europe, and in America. 1798. Battle of Stance, in Switzerland. The hardy mountaineers defended their homes against the French with clubs, spears and fragments of rock, but were forced to retire before the regular artillery and muskets of their enemy, their beautiful valley was destroyed by fire, and neither age nor sex spared by the furious soldiery. 1804. Great storm at Savannah, by which the city suffered to an immense amount in damages to buildings and other property, as well as loss of life, to a considerable distance, carrying destruction with it in every quarter. 1817. John Carter, an eminent English antiquary, draftsman and critic, died. He was many years a laborious contributor to the Gentleman's Magazine. 1837. Samuel Edgerton Bridges, an English nobleman, died near Geneva, in Switzerland. He was a man of considerable talents and learning, and a voluminous writer in various branches of literature, but possessed of a most unhappy temper and disposition. 1838. Benjamin Booth Royd, pastor of the Independent Church, Huddersfield, England, died. He was a lively example of piety and a life of industry. 1846. George Mifflin Bash, lieutenant commanding United States Brig Washington, died at sea off Cape Hatteras. His hopes of thoroughly exploring the Gulf Stream were thus cut off. 1847. Battle of El Molino del Rey, in Mexico, where many a brave American fell. 1847. Martin Scott fell at the Battle of Molino del Rey. In early life he was one of the sharpshooters among the Green Mountain Boys, and it is storied of him. That so unerring was his aim that a nail-driven partway into a board, he could drive home by his bullet. 1849. A Maria Brigham, a distinguished physician, died at Utica, New York, aged 51. He was superintendent of the state asylum for the insane. 1852. Mark H. Sibley, an eminent lawyer, died at Canandaigua, New York, aged 56. He had distinguished himself at the bar, in the State Assembly and in Congress, and on the bench.
1853, the first chamber in Holland adopted the much disputed law on religious liberty by a vote of 22 to 16. 1854, a violent storm at Charleston, South Carolina, which continued 48 hours, overflowing the wharves and damaging the shipping. 1855, Robert Muller, a celebrated pianist and composer, died at Edinburgh, Scotland. 1855, William Holland Daniel Cuddy, an experienced and efficient British officer, killed in the attack on the Redan, at Sebastopol, aged 41, until 1841, and afterwards with distinction in the Chinese War. 1855, the Allies having kept up an infernal fire upon the fortress of Sebastopol during three days and nights, attacked the works in three columns, and captured the Malakoff, whereupon the Russians blew up the remaining forts upon the south side of the city, sunk and destroyed their vessels, and under cover of the explosions, and of the night, retreated to the north side of the city over a bridge recently constructed, leaving a large number of guns, and a vast amount of military stores. In the hands of the victors, who lost 2019 killed, and about 7,500 wounded and missing. Mm -hmm.